Hey guys, it's Jenna and Mark from DeStefano's Daily Dose, and today we're here to talk to you guys about carb cycling. It's the latest thing in health and fitness, and we wanted to tell you guys a little bit about it, what it is, how it works, and why people are doing it. Mark has been doing it for several weeks, more than once actually, and to keep himself healthy after recovering from surgery from a weightlifting injury. So he's been doing it to keep his metabolism in a good place so that when he can start working out again, it's going to be so beneficial for his body and his results. So Mark, why don't you tell us a little bit about what carb cycling is? Okay. Um, carb cycling. Uh, first, let me tell you why I'm doing it, and that essentially is to reduce body fat. Um, like Jenna said, right now I'm not training, so I want to keep my weight in check so that way when I do get back into weight training, I'm building from a steady base of um, just muscle mass and not fat. Um, so what carb cycling is, is it's very basic. It's going to be three to four days of low carbohydrate intake followed by one day of very high carbohydrate intake. Okay. 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 So why, you essentially said why you did it. Why would somebody want to do something like this? Okay. Um, the simple answer is, is fat loss. Um, this is my second bout of doing carb cycling. Um, the first go around, I started it because I was, I learned that my particular body is very carb sensitive, and by that I mean basically the more, if I take in any excess carbs, they essentially go right to my midsection, which, as we all know, that's not where we want it to go. Nobody likes that. <laughs> um, so I did six weeks of carb cycling and lost um, probably about four to five inches off my waist with, without sacrificing very much uh, muscle mass. So I decided to go to it now that I'm kind of down and out with my injury. Um, but story aside, the uh, simple answer is we're going to do it for fat loss. Okay. So why don't you explain to me how carb cycling works? Okay. So carb cycling, like I said, we're going to do three to four days of low carbohydrate intake. Okay. Essentially for someone like me, I weigh 150 pounds and I try to keep my carbs anywhere from 40 to 75 grams of carbs. That's going to be on a low carb day. Okay, on a high carb day, it's going to be double whatever your particular body weight is. Okay, for example, if you weigh 130 pounds, um, you're going to do, you're going to want to take in approximately 260 grams of carbs on your high carbohydrate day. Okay, now the reason that this works and the reason that this is, you know, so popular, is because when you reduce your carbohydrates, your body will burn fat faster. Okay, which is fat loss. That's what we want. Okay, mm -hmm. so you add that high carbohydrate day because what that does is that increases your metabolism, which increases your body's fat burning capabilities. Okay, so then once you do that high carb day, you reduce back down your low carb days, and your body is still on that high carbohydrate fat burning metabolism. Essentially, is is what happens. Now. Mm -hmm. Another reason that people cycle instead of just going low carb is because, as you may or may not know, your body is very good at adapting to what you're doing to it, and that's why we don't all turn out to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger or Lou mm -hmm. Ferrigno and these guys who just are humongous. Um, so if you were to do just low carbohydrate, your body would catch on to that after probably a week or two and you wouldn't see the gains or in this case the losses right okay right. so that's why you want to add that high carbohydrate day in there so it keeps your metabolism kind of fluctuating and your body essentially you're fooling your body into burning more fat okay so that makes that makes pretty good sense so with a program like this is it something that we, you would do for a long period of time or is there a certain limit where it's not good for you to do you want to do it anywhere from two to eight weeks. Um, any anything after eight weeks, you're really exhausting the body. And um, like I said, this is another opportunity to change it up and keep your body guessing. Okay, whether it's your goal is to gain muscle mass or 
you know, stay thin, whatever your particular goal is, you want to continually change um, what, what you're doing and, and, and what you're um, what you're doing to your body. Um, what I will say is, when you first start carb cycling, um, it's very difficult. Your body's you're going to feel like you're starving because your body's not used to it. You're not used to the reduction in calories and, and things like that. On contrast, on a high carbohydrate day, you're going to love it. You're going to love life because you essentially get to eat <laughs> eat everything. Everything. Um, now keep in mind that on a high carb day, you still want to eat healthy. This I'm not telling you to go out to your favorite fast food restaurant and mm. eat burgers and and things like that. Okay, it's whether it's low carb or high carb, we're eating healthy choices. Okay. Um, one additional tip I'll provide is whenever you're on a low carb day, you want to substitute any carbohydrates with healthy proteins and healthy fats. Um, you know, some examples for those kind of foods are healthy proteins are chicken, beef, um, fish, eggs is a great um, a great substitute. Um, healthy fats such as almonds, any type of nuts is good. Um, so just, you know, work with it, experiment with it, um, but try to keep those carbs um, anywhere from 40 to 75 grams. If you're a little bit lighter, if you weigh, you know, 120 pounds and below, you could even go lower than that because you don't have as big appetite. So you can go anywhere from, you know, 20 to 50 grams of carbs. Um, so, but experiment it. But you know, the model is going to be the same: three to four low carb days, one high carb day. So, okay. So now you guys know what carb cycling is. My next question would be. With a, with carb cycling, would you recommend a workout program? Would you recommend cardio? What kind of could you pair it with anything? Well, as you know, Jenna at the StephanosDailyDose.com, we encourage <laughs> fitness. We encourage yes. exercise. Yes, we do. <laughs> um, so you do want it. You do want to do carb cycling with um, some sort of fitness program. Um, at the very least, I'd encourage you to do you know three to four days of cardio. I know we're all busy, we all have hectic schedules, um, but if you're at the stephanosdailydose.com, something tells me that you're already dedicated to fitness, so um, it shouldn't be hard to convince you to do some sort of exercise. Um, you can do carb cycling just by itself, but um, if you include fitness and exercise, um, you're not only going to see the results from the carb cycle itself, but you're going to see the added results from, from the working out. Right. So that sounds good. That's a lot of information about carb cycling. We would be happy to help you figure out if carb cycling is something that's right for you. And if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. We want to help you reach your health and fitness goals, and this is a great venue that's really popular right now that will boost your metabolism and put you in a great position to reach your goals. So thanks for checking this out, and we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.